All right. The gauntlet has been thrown. The seltzer has been drank. The button's been pressed. Diverse capitals this time. It's been a uh, pretty laxed week, I think. Why not continue the uh, laxness with a uh, <clears throat> potentially easy, um, easy, what's the word? Easy map to end the week. Um, thinking this is Madrid. Um, usually because I found there seems to be a bit of a European bias when it comes to uh, map generation. Probably because it's um, the maybe the most common, frequent, whatever you want to call it. Um, like block of countries in the entire world that have uh, photos done to it. Because I don't know how, like, you see photospheres all the time of places like in India. I just don't know how, like, frequent you get outside that country. Or those little photospheres, like, a lot of all of this has been mapped. A lot of all of this has been mapped. So it's kind of biased towards, well, it's biased where the data is, in other words. What a deep and profound thought we just had. And by we, I mean me. I think that's speaking in the second person. Um, I think third person is where I would just be speaking, saying my actual first name, and I don't think I'm ever going to do that. So I guess you don't have anything to worry about with that. Um, I'm just kind <clears> of <throat> driving around seeing if I... Uh, want to see anything cool in these uh bridges here and i don't think i'm going to uh we do have intersection here potentially but as always how we doing how has been how have been your day the m40 next to the r5 and the a42 so like around here Get a fee in Toledo, huh? That's a Toledo's, you know, over in Ohio. That's a bit of a drive from here. Anyway, how's it been? Did your week go the way you thought it would? I don't know if mine did. Um, I have plans for the weekend, and they all hinge upon the chance that it'll rain or it might not. This is the last mountain I haven't done for the top for the. Excuse me, hiking the five tallest mountains in my state. I'm finally getting that done this weekend. Just because this one's super long, where it's just like two and a half miles. Maybe like 90% of the actual hike is all flat. Excuse me for one second. All right, we're on pause. 90% of it is all flat. Then the last bit's super steep. I'm fine with that. Uh, I've been wondering what I'm going to do because uh, the next closest state, as far as doing all their mountains, it's 46 or 48 that are above 4,000 feet, I believe. And a lot of those trails to get to those mountains are uh, pretty long in their own right, but maybe I'll do that one of these days. Um, a lot of... Uh, Stories have come out at least this summer about like the youngest, the fastest to do them. Um, I don't think I'm ever gonna do it fast enough because you gotta take like a month or so off. And I never understood how people can take multiple weeks off. I mean, if you got the money or your job lets you do that, awesome. Now we're stuck in limbo because GeoGuessr is taking its sweet ass time to uh load up the correct score, and I'm hoping this doesn't end up screwing up the entire um, round of GeoGuessr. I did click a spot, so I know that's at least fine. We might get timed out here. And I may have to do a bit of editing. But there's nothing you're going to see on your end, because either this is going up or cut out, but we're going to sit here for a moment as I look to see I still have internet, so I know that's still a plus. However, I think the website's just being a, a dink. 
Let me take a sip. Yeah. So I think up to this point, into the next one, I think I'm going to cut out all this dead air. Okay. It seemed to have just gotten hung up, so I had to uh, refresh. That's the score we got. <clears throat> that was weird. Um, you didn't miss much. Just a lot of me going like, grumble, grumble. What the fuck? Was essentially it, but looking at the score, we got pretty close. Uh, what do we got here? Probably something French, if not French. Um, French speaking. That van disappeared. South Express. South. Hmm. Is this Paris? I don't know. It probably is, and I'm overthinking it, which is what I do. Fwad means cold, I know that. This isn't Britain, if that was a uh, concern. Excuse me, I got a little seltzer burp. Um, we got an exchange thing, candy rockets. It's all clothing stores. Le Petit Parisien. So yeah, I'm thinking this is probably uh, Paris. Mandarin, Mandarina duck, huh? <clears throat> Diddle Garen. Do you need this many clothes shops? I mean, this isn't my like purview's the wrong word, but like interest or have any knowledge in, but a lot of clothes shops. I mean, uh, you could extrapolate that argument into anything and just being like, do you really need such and such? Like, do you really need more than three pairs of shoes? You know, it's, it's, it, it's just one of those things that people always talk about when they don't very much know anything about anything. And it's just real easy to like, oh. All I need is just my lunch pail and, you know, other dumb shit. I got my coffee, my lunch pail, that's all I know. I just do my eight-hour work day, go back home. What do I need, you know? It's just being dismissive about things I know nothing about. Rue Bonaparte. Where is Napoleon's Road? St. Germain Ravioli. Uh, you think that it would be somewhere around the middle, <clears throat> but me not knowing anything about the layout of the city, it's all a guess. So we're just going to kind of look around a little bit. Anyway, um, thinking I might do, uh, it's still a thought. I don't know if I've actually completely decided this. I probably will. Okay, I feel like this is the main thoroughfare of uh, Paris. I got these little checkered checkered roads everywhere. Um, yeah, where's the Arc de Triomphe is there. I feel like we're on one of these. But I don't see Napoleon's name anywhere here. I see a Disney store. I'm just assuming that they would have it be like one of the bigger uh, thoroughfares in here just because, you know, Napoleon was kind of a big deal. I mean, maybe I, if you try to come up with a list of other French people. Oh, well, not far off. I'm still within the city limits. And that's all I can ask for in here. And here is another potentially. Madridian location. All right. I don't know if this is completely, uh, these like, oh, it's the Metro. That's what those are. Okay. I saw it in the side of the previous one. These just look kind of weird just sitting out here like this, but what do I know? All I know apparently is that this is Madrid. And it's very wonky 
clicking of a road here. Is this actually a like awesome place to go visit? Like, um, I don't know much about the climate when it comes to winter, but I feel like if I was going to come to a city like this where potentially in the summertime it'd be balls as fuck hot and I don't want to be out in it, then I would prefer to come here in a non-summer season. And um, I think parts of, well, I know parts of the country get snow. I just don't know if Madrid being what it is and where it is is actually a uh, location that would seem to get a lot of uh, other weather besides, you know, hot and then non-hot, but not like winter or frost or anything like that. It's just the relative ignorance I have. I mean, I know that the Gulf Coast, the, the Gulf Stream kind of goes near it, so it does keep its temperature kind of tempered. We got Mission Impossible Fallout. Never seen that. <clears throat> it's another thing I've always... Well, I actually have seen um, American movies in other countries, and it's all, yeah, Real Madrid, okay. And it has... Uh, the foreign language subtitles below it. I mean, I don't think I've actually seen a foreign dubbed movie. I saw, um, whatever that movie about Facebook was with, uh, Trent Renster being the guy who made the music for it, whatever the hell it was called. I did make the guess. All right, we are in Madrid. Uh, I'm not going to waste the time anymore. It's a cool looking park, though. Uh, we seem to just be bouncing from. Madrid to some... Ooh, okay, let's see what this says. We went too far. Let's hit back. I guess I can't there, so we're gonna hit home. Apparently, I clicked into a dead zone. Let's hit forward. I just want to see what this sign says, if it ever focuses. Turku Abo. This is in Ankara, apparently. Next to Turku and Abo. However, maybe it's not because that type of signage is and roads is uh, also located around these countries. I'm seeing one, but I'm not seeing a three. Could it be Tallinn? Could it also be Riga? I do not think it's Riga. <clears throat> Could it be Vilnius? Excuse me, I do not think it is. Sorry, I've just still got a little burpy. So I believe we're here. Let's uh, narrow this down a bit more. Let's go to this sign over here. Uh... Tuesby, huh? Let's see, we got the 15. I'm not seeing... Alright, could this potentially be... Helsinki? I do not... Hmm. I got 45. Where is Tuesby? Alright, I see a 4 and a 7. I'm not seeing... Alright, am I overthinking this? Have I done what I always do? I need a bit more information, I think, before I completely screw myself over. I know anyone from either of these countries watching this right now is screaming at me saying, how oh my god, how can you think it was this country when it was actually this country? Nothing here clearly said it was whatever I'm confusing for it. Centrum, Tusula, and Tusby. Pasila. Alright. I see a 2. I see a 45. I mean, isn't that enough? I don't see a 3, though, and that's the only thing that seems to be concerning to me right now. Heartwall Arena. Pasila. 
There's Pasila. All right, we are in Helsinki. Okay. Pastola, Pasila, Bolt. Unless it's like, no, it's not. Stop thinking it's other things. Um, if I can see you an Ural, I'll feel a little bit better, but I think I got it. I got 30 seconds. There were signage, wasn't there? Okay, there is. We got Vicky and Vic. Let's uh, pick another way that may help me a bit. Um, let's go this way. I see some more roadsides. I went too far. Get me back here. Let's see. Like I think they're just gonna say the same thing again. Yeah. All right. Oh boy. That one was almost bad. Almost. But wasn't. Now I'm gonna fight off a sneeze. All right. We are in uh, Tokyo, I think. Um, unless it is a other. One of these places. Eh, eh. Or, eh. I'm leading more towards Tokyo. But who knows? The temples written here. Not helpful. The signage doesn't completely help me either. East Living. It doesn't, it, this is, it, these are all Japanese characters, but where in Tokyo is this? I don't know. That's why it's like, it has to be Tokyo. Why, why wouldn't it be protein and sweets? I mean, it, it, it's, it's just whenever I see pictures of Tokyo, it's always like the super, uh, super center with all the giant metropolis. This seems kind of like a little bit, yeah, outside of downtown. I'm not seeing like really large skyscrapers. Granted, I'm a little blocked off by some buildings here, but. Ogyo no Matsudori Street. All right, we've got Tokyo. Yeah, okay, yeah. The metropolitan area, Ueno. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Back when I cared about anime. I still have so many freaking DVDs just wasting away in a bin somewhere. I gotta get rid of them. Maybe sell them all in bowl for like 50 bucks. There's gotta be like over 100 DVDs. That each paycheck, I wasted $20 on each DVD to watch and. You know, I wouldn't argue that was a waste of money. I enjoyed getting them at the time and watching them, but now I could probably do without a lot of them. Granted, there's a couple I think I'd keep just because they're pretty cool, but honestly, they're all what most people think would be the um, good, in air quotes, animes from the uh, late 90s, early 2000s. But it was a very short, maybe three-year window that I cared. I don't really anymore. That's what happens with hobbies. I mean, you have certain ones that you really uh, focus in on, but then there's some that just come and go. Like maybe the painting stuff I'm doing, that'll hang out for a while. Maybe not. I don't know. I just have to keep doing it until I don't want to. I believe that's a television station logo. <clears throat> that is a... Not the Tokyo Tower, is it? I just ran past a bunch of road signs. I just want to see if I can get here in 40-something seconds, just to see if I can see what it looks like. Ah, oh, come on. Did I go past it? Whoa. Um, I don't know. Oh, Family Marts. I want to see if I can zoom in and if they're selling uh, baked potatoes. You can get uh, yams. They sell them here all hot. and They're just a snack you eat. It's just something you don't normally see at convenience stores, at least where I'm from. I'm going to say we're here. I, mean, I have zero idea. It started with a U. 
but there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff around here. That wasn't too far. That's a lot of train stations. And a symbol for a thing that I know doesn't mean that, but still. We are near the Japan's Women University. And a rather relaxed um you guess are for the week. Uh, they don't always have to be strenuous. I mean, the uh, Finland one kind of gave me a run for my money, but that's just because I'm an idiot. But just know that I'm clearing my throat. Thank you all for watching. If you have any map suggestions you'd like me to try out for next week or anything in the future, or any other games you'd like me to try, just uh, put them in the comments below. I will get back to them as soon as I see them. But until next time, I hope you enjoy your weekend. <laughs> oh, God. I'm dying here. Oh, all right. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great weekend. We're going to be back here on Monday with some more GeoGuessers and maybe something else during the week. Who knows? I don't even know if I do, but we'll see. Goodbye.